Hey kids. <laughs> Alright, before I get started today, I just want to say, you know how I always say that I use this stuff? Here's a handy hint. Every time you use this, shake it up. Can you hear that? That is big ass globules of fat. What happens if you don't shake this every time you use it? They sink down into the bottom and you'll get to like your last 150 mil, however much you use, and you'll be pouring it and there'll be these big lumps in it and you'll think, oh my God, it's off. It's not, it's just those lumps in there. So yeah, so make sure you shake it every time you use it. Because I'd forgotten. <laughs> All right, so today, I am making sweet lemon and bergamot. I don't particularly like it, but it seems like it's. Oh, yay! Good thing there's no lion there yet. It seems like something that would be popular. I don't know. I'll give it a whirl. I am. Um, I'm actually going. I'm having a little experiment today. I um. To be frank, every single soap I have ever used, handmade, not store-bought, not detergent shit, um, makes my skin feel squeaky clean. It's the only way I can describe it. And you'll, if it happens to you, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's kind of like your skin's really, really dry and squeaky clean. Um, I have tried other people's handmade soaps. I have tried stuff that says it's better than soap. I have tried everything. Right? The only thing that works to take that away is like body washes you buy, like the palm olive and that. So it's something synthetic in soap that gets rid of that. So I'm not even going to worry about what it, what it is that does it. So instead... <laughs> What I've decided to do today is use bugger all coconut oil because we all know that that's the, the cleansing part of the soap. So instead of having my cleansing around 15, 17, my cleansing today is at five. So yes, yeah, so <laughs> I don't know if it will make any difference. Um, it's just an experiment and you know, I mean it's a goat's milk soap so if worse comes to worse, I'll use it. If I don't sell it, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, so I just thought you'd be interested to know that I'm being a bit weird today. I've also um taken my um oh, yeah, no, I'm not overly fond of this at all. For something that sounds I mean sweet lemon and bergamot does not sound really like real zesty and citrusy and mm, you know, nice and I don't know, yummy. It's not. It smells more like flowers. <sighs> and we all know how I feel about flowers. <laughs> um, I'll give that a mix. I don't know, I was saying something before that, wasn't I? I forgot what it was. I don't even know. Doesn't surprise me. Oh, yeah, uh, rice bran. Yeah, I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> bloody first um yeah I've dialed it right back this time so I've got some my two main oils today are olive and palm just it's not even a really hard soap either it's only on 35 so usually I'm up a lot higher than that so but I don't care I just I thought I'd have a bit of an experiment see what happens and um yeah. Yeah, you can't know what's gonna happen until you experiment. It's like I've just poured that fragrance in before the lie. So we'll have an experiment, see what happens. God knows. And that was soap on a bloody stick, yeah? Doesn't appear to be soap on a stick. Anyway, what I was planning on doing, and I'm obviously not ready for it, <laughs> I was 
like, oh yeah, I'll just start. Yeah, I didn't even think. Oh, see, I'm, oh my God, I'm so unorganized. Uh, yeah, go on, laugh. Buggers. Laughing at me, aren't you? So I know you are. I can hear it. Um, well, they're going to be too small. Oh, jeez. This is what happens when I'm manic, which I am at the moment. I can tell that I'm manic. Um, I have about, honestly, I have about five things on the go at the moment. Um, I've got wax melting behind me because uh, I've got some candles to pour. This is thickening up pretty quick. Um, yeah, why am I doing this? Oh my god, this is getting big. Yes, I've got some um, candles melting, uh, wax melting. Oh. And um, I've got stickers on, I was printing out, and then I stopped doing that because I got bored with that. And um, yeah, I was taking photographs, but then I had to stop that because I had to bring this over here. And <laughs> yeah, see, manic, I'm telling you. The bad part is I know that I'm manic and I'm not doing anything about it. Uh, which is bad because I should know how to control my own friggin' mental illness. But anyway, whatever. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Look at me go. The good thing about this going so thick. Is I kind of wanted it thick anyway, and you'll see why in a second. But I did, it may even be too thick. All right, so there you go. Sweet lemon and bergamot. It raises the trace. Right. See this hanging about? This, if you know what it is. Good on you, you're clever. Um, you will find in the tiling section of your local hardware. Yes, I'm going to use that in my soap. I have been wanting to do this. I've actually done one before. I can't show you because I sold it. Um, but I've been wanting to do it again for so long and I just keep forgetting. I have a hard time judging what's halfway with this. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing. Just fill in the mold halfway, that's all, nothing interesting. Hello, socks. Say hello to the people at home. You say hello? Oh, yeah, you said hello. Aren't you lucky? He's a big cat. Now, what is it? You can see what it is. Can you see what it is? Yep, right. Look. I've cut it in half. They're usually about that wide, but I've cut it so it fits into my mold. All I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it through. What I'm going to do is I'll drag it this way so I can see the height that I'm doing it. And then I'll take that out, put that in there. And I've missed a smidge on that side. And there we go. Now, I've got shit everywhere. I need to stop saying shit. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Dad says, don't say shit. Dad says lots of things. Sometimes I listen to him. Most of the time I don't. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> he would just be sitting there shaking his head at me now. That's okay, because he still loves me anyway. That's all good. That's all that matters. Wow, holy banolis. I don't even know what that word is. And it's hot. It's so hot. Seriously. All right. Now, you've seen me do this before. All I'm going to do is pour it, if I can pour it, onto the spatula so that it doesn't dig into the soap underneath. Well, the problem with that when it's this thick is it will come out really wide out of the jar 
in whatever this is container what I will do is once I get this once I get a layer in of this I'll bang it down and hopefully it will go into all the grooves and I'm just hoping it's not actually too heavy and squish them spin it round because I was left-handed And I would just like to say thank you, thank you again to all you wonderful people who are watching my videos and commenting and making me feel like a million bucks because it really does and I enjoy it. It's especially good for me for someone who is so antisocial, which I really am. It's a good way to connect without with people without actually having to leave the house <laughs> oh i'm a sad case i know that i'm a sad case all right now i was going to try and do another one but i don't know if i can i think it might actually be too thick so i won't so what could I do to the top, do you reckon? Well, I don't know. Because it's so thick, there's really not a lot I could do. What about... I'll do this. Put some orange down this side. Like this. I swear, I just make this shit up as I go. But I'm pretty sure you already knew that, hey? Alright, so. Now, what about... Okie dokie, I don't think. Yeah, it might work. It'll kind of work. It's pretty boring though, isn't it? Eh, I suppose it's kind of alright. Sides up. Give it another bang down. What do you reckon? It's not too bad, hey? I think I might leave it at that. This is a bit crooked, but uh, hey, what the hell? Um, oh, smell me. No, not me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't smell bad, but you would think with all the soap I make, I wouldn't smell bad. I do actually use it. Right, I'm pretty sure I told you, did I tell you already, I made Simply Vanilla everything. Uh, and I'm not even bored with it yet. Which is kind of surprising. Because, you know, I get pretty bored with things pretty easy, so. And it's, I say pretty a lot too, by the sounds of it. This is already set in here. All oh, those cupcakes, the ones that made me really cranky. I don't know if I actually will upload the video or not. I probably will. Um, I managed to unmold those things two hours after I made them. So, if you want to see me get really, really cranky, that's the one you need to watch. And considering how cranky I was, I think I stayed pretty bloody calm. I was livid. I tell you, I was livid. Alrighty. Try and make them a little bit matchy matchy. I don't know why I leave the video on when I do these. Although I haven't heard anyone complain about it yet. And if someone complains, I'd probably just do it out of spite, so. <laughs> That's the kind of person I am, so here you go. So 
if you want me to do something, tell me not to. That's the way to do it. And now I hope Dad's not watching this. Because then he'll know he'll have a secret weapon. <laughs> but he's a, he's a bit bipolar himself. He gets a bit bored with things about halfway through. So he probably would have turned it off by now. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, considering how thick this shit went, I think that turned out not too bad. And I'm not I'm not hating the smell, but it's got like a I don't know, I can't even explain it. It's It's, yeah, it's kind of like the sweet, I think what the sweet is, I think it's more like a lemon flower rather than a lemon fruit. Does that make any sense? What is that cat doing? Oh, God, there goes a cat, cat in a box. Socks, what are you doing? <laughs> it's a box full of... Um, You're an idiot. It's a box full of um, uh, packing stuff. Uh, the phone things. Brain doesn't work. So it must have freaked him out because he jumped out real quick. And he realised. There you go, little swirly swirlies. Do you ever mind that? I wish I just had done it a bit neater, but still. Doesn't look too shabby. Not too shabby. Alright. Well, that's it guys i um hopefully this thing will work because when you if you've not seen the effect of one of these tools before and not many people do it so well i have seen other people do it before um it's pretty awesome if it works but, um yeah i will bring you back for the cutting regardless because I won't know what it looks like inside till I cut it. So if it looks like shit, you'll be looking at it with me. All right. Bye. Hey, chickens. I am. Um, I may have possibly break the soap. <laughs> you know me. I always tell you I have absolutely no patience whatsoever. Well, um, I tried to take it out of mould a little early. And um, I don't know if you can. Can you see in there? Probably can't. I'll just show you the soap. But, um, yeah, see this in the corners, so they're just looking a little, a little shabby. <laughs> Whatever, I don't really care. Um, I've cleaned it up with the planer, but yeah, this, that's what happens when you try and take out a soft soap too early. Just don't do it. It's just not worth the distress. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. So I left it overnight, it's now like half past six in the morning, so yeah, anyway, well it kind of worked, it sealed even though I put it in the bloody fridge, you can see that the top soap was too heavy and it's pushed them outwards, what I'll do next time is um, I will uh, wait I'll pour the bottom layer. No, oh, wait, geez, that's really gelled. And I put that in the bloody fridge. Um, I'll pour the bottom layer. And then I'll leave it to set up a little bit. And then I'll pour the second layer. So I'll mix it in two different um, two different batches. And then that way, this won't. you can see that they've just moved a little bit. It still looks pretty cool, though. And it's not halfway. Remember I said I couldn't figure that out. Yeah, well, there you go. It just goes to show I wasn't lying. But yeah, it's amazing how much that's gelled, even though it went in the fridge. Yeah. But then I did say it was getting hot when I was working with it. I still like I think it's really cool. It's hard for you guys to see because it's early morning and the light shit because it's raining. I uh, didn't get to go for my work walk this morning, so I'm just having a morning. Shit morning. Shit morning.
stayed awake for like, I don't know, I think it was about 36, 40 hours or something. And um, thought, oh, this is great, you know, I'll get to have a nice big sleep. Yeah, four hours later, I was awake. There are downsides to being manic, and sleep is one of them. You don't get a lot of sleep when you're manic. So, unfortunately, I am manic at the moment, so hopefully, although at the moment I'm not, but I'm just being organisationally crazy at the moment, so I um, have just set up all my candle stuff on my dinner table there's a good thing I don't eat at the stupid thing because there's no room now um, I've got everything in lines all the different fragrances are all because I use different containers and that's gone crooked oh I actually count myself crooked no I'm not that whatever <laughs> this is why I have whatever tattooed on my hands because that's what I say when I get really cranky I don't know if I can actually slice that off or not I don't think I can I think the soap will move yeah no it just pushes against it I'll have to um, clean it up with a knife. I think it's gone lumpy. I'll have to clean it up with a knife when it's a bit harder, perhaps. Because it is still reasonably soft. Okay, still. I mean, I could use that for moulding if I really wanted to. Actually, it's just still too sticky to even use as moulding soap, so. So, yeah, it's definitely still a softer soap. That's okay. It's um, it smells better than it did yesterday. Yeah, it's definitely lost a bit of the. Oh, I'm gonna have to touch the freaking phone now. Um, it's lost a lot of the um, floral notes and is more just more on the citrusy side. So, so I don't hate it anymore. <laughs> I hate it yesterday. Don't hate it so much now. All right, bye.